hey girl. How you doing? It's me, Alice. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, this is gonna be a tutorial on how to change a tire. I thought it was about time that I showed my mechanic side of the makeup mechanic and I thought, hey, I feel like this is a really important skill that everyone should know if they own a car. The idea for this tutorial came to me last year, actually, when I was working at Toyota as, was I the receptionist at the time? No, I went up to car saleswoman. I was car saleswoman at Toyota last year. This girl came up to the front desk and she was like freaking out. She's like, do you guys have any like, do you have like a tire pump or like anything for a flat tire? And I was like, oh no, this is just a showroom. Our workshop's like ages away. It's just showrooms all on the street. And she was like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, girl, stop freaking out. I'm like, come on, come on, show me your car. And so we walked down the road a little bit. She was stopped on the hill, not a steep hill. It was but it was like, you know, like a bit of an incline. And it was just, it was just like a flat tire. So I was like, okay, well, let's just change your tire. She was like, what? You know how to change your tire? And I'm like, cause I'm literally like, I'm in my skirt. I wouldn't recommend changing a tire in a skirt, but hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. So yeah, I was just on the road telling her what I was doing, just teaching her as I was doing it. Yeah, she was just like really grateful. Just felt like a real girl power moment. I was like, I don't know, it was just really empowering. I'm like, yes. And now you know how to change your tire. She's like, not even my boyfriend knows how to change your tire. And I was like, well, now you can teach him. Yeah, so I was like, maybe I should make like a YouTube video about this just so that people can know how to change your tire. It's actually really simple, but I feel like it's a bit intimidating for most people. So so this tutorial is for you. So uh, let's jump right in, shall we? <laughs> All right, it's time to change your tire. This is my first time using this microphone and I've got it plugged into the camera. So this is what that is if you see that dangling around. All right, so we've got a nice flat surface. Our driveway is a little bit of a bitch. It's a bit slopey and thin. So we've come to our local sports park to show you how to change a tire. First things first, get it out of the boot. Follow me. Come on, Jordy. <laughs> got my trusty camera go. Okay, so cars have their jacks and stuff in all different types of spots. Ours is here. Do you want to show them where the ours is, Jordy? So here's our jack. Just got to untwist that. Jack acquired. I'm going to leave that pin there so I don't lose that. Get the rest of the tools. So every car has like a little satchel like this. So you need the one that looks like that to undo the wheel nuts and then this one to wind up the jack. Next we actually need the tire. <laughs> so we're not going to get the spare out just because we'll take our one off and put it back in. But under normal circumstances, take that off. This is a space saver. They're the ones that have steel rim and you'll see on them it says you can't go over 80 kilometers per hour. So you have to go slow with those. Those are just a temporary replacement until you can get your puncture repaired. But otherwise, let's get into it. <laughs> You've dropped your water. Yep. <laughs> the car isn't parked and the handbrake is on. Next, you might have to come under and show everybody. We'll show you where to jack it up from. So jacking point, they'll have like normally two marks. So sometimes they have cutouts. So ours here has these two like ridges here. Can you see? Can you see? It's these two ridges here. So we're going to pop the jack just there. That's your jacking point. Make sure that you don't put it on the plastic like bumpers or anything like that. Otherwise, you're not going to have a good time. Side skirts, thank you. Don't pop it on your side skirts. All right, so you wind your jack up like this. It's just quicker with your hand, but when it gets under the car, then we use the tool. So see this gap here, I'm gonna pop it just under the jacking point. Okay. Beautiful. All right, now it's time for the tools. So your hook goes into there, and then pop that into, there's always a gap in, that pop it there and then we go right to wind up while it's on the ground you want to crack your nuts that's what she said hey there she goes so you want to take them off in a star formation and if you lose it using your foot which you'll most likely have to do pop it there so you can stomp down Definitely recommend a foot. Bring that down. Water, water, Jackie Chan. Once they're cracked, then we wind it up all the way to get the tire off the ground. The gold now is shining real bright, isn't it? We're on the ice. She's off the ground. Okay, now that they're cracked, you can just loosen with the old hands. Probably the weirdest thing for people driving past to be looking at, hey? <laughs> See, as the wheel starts to come out, just like you, you need to pop it back in. 
because otherwise it's going to sit on the nuts and make it harder to take off. Just going to take the weight off it because that last night's holding the weight of the tyre. Just lift it up a little bit and she's good. Uh, keep your nuts together. And there we go, that's taken it off. So if you get a puncture in your side wall, so this is your side wall here, if you get a puncture there, you're buggered, like you, you've got to replace the tire. If you get a puncture here, then you can repair it, depending how big the puncture is. But yeah, so if it's like, even if it's like on the edge, most people won't repair. So hopefully it's repairable. If it's somewhere here, then you should be fine. Just want to tell you guys how to check your tire size. Come closer. All right, so you want to look for the numbers on the tires that are like here. So you're going to have a three digit number. So 205 is the distance from here to here. So the width of the tire. 60 is going to be this here. And then 16 is going to be your rim size. So when people are like, oh, I got 20s, blah, blah, blah. They, 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 their rim size is 20. <laughs> and that's how I explain that. So when people quote you tires, those are what they're looking for, the size of your tire. So then that way, if you know your tire size, you can have a bit of a shop around. A tire this big, generally want to set it to about between 30 36, 40 psi. I feel like that's probably enough info. That'll be fine. Time to put it back. How I used to lift tires at work. Oh, I've got this in my way now. There's a couple ways you can lift tires. How I like to do it to not hurt the back. Get your knee like just above your knee. Hold on to part of the rim and then you just kind of flick it and then you can just kind of bend. Sometimes if I'm just doing it on the ground, I'll just like sit on the ground and like waddle it at my feet like so. I feel like I've got a tail. I'll just go like that. This depends obviously if you have enclosed shoes pop it on like this and then you just kind of line it up with the studs get your foot out the way and pop it back on time to put the nuts back on so then you put it back into a star formation so star formation is obviously you go opposite it's like star okay. apparently it's a really popular time to come to the sports bar this hour <laughs> good time to come walk dogs so i'm just going to pop them up with my fingers just a bit quicker they're probably all looking like, why is she changing the tire, not you? <laughs> why are you filming? <laughs> and then just tighten up in a star formation as well. <laughs> then we're gonna pop it back down. Lefty loosey. I'm just gonna get comfy. There we go, nice and easy. <laughs> They are a bit of an awkward thing, these two tools together. All right, I'll get her on the ground. And then once it's off, the weight of the car's off, way easier to do it with your fingers. I'm just gonna pop her right back down. Look how shiny and fresh it is. Mm. One of the old car was all like rusty and gross. So there we go. And then make sure they're all tight. <sighs> Again, star formation. Make sure that the tire goes on evenly. <laughs> Just kind of put your body away into it, really. Get a nice lunge position. <laughs> we'll make sure the tire. All right, and then we pop the pen up, and then we pop the tools back in the car, and then a truck comes past <laughs> really loudly. <laughs> hey, how you going? All right, I think that's about it. I'm back. Sorry about the abrupt ending in that car park. There was just like, I turned around, there was like a lot of people watching us. It was a bit how you go, and so we're like, let's just wrap this up. Let's just go. We'll do the outro at home. So yeah, apologies for the abrupt ending. It was just getting very awkward, and I'm not used to an audience. Normally when we go to that park, there's like no one there. And then the time that we're out there with a freaking camera, I'm changing a tire. We got my freaking overalls on. Whole bunch of people, like, excuse me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something today. If you want any more car tips, just let me know. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing like big, massive like repairs and stuff on cars for my YouTube channel. If there's any like car things that you want to know, just let me know and I'll try my best to do that. Just let me know what you thought in the comments below. Can you hear Lily? Oh, she's just meowing to come in, aren't you? Mm. Say hi. What's on this? What's on this? What's the matter? You having a good day? Is everything okay? She's happy just chilling. I'm just going to do the rest of the outro with you if that's okay. You seem pretty relaxed right now, so... Just as I said that, she has to get off. Oh, okay, bye! <laughs>
she's getting rid of her summer coat. Where was I? I know it's a bit different to all the other videos that I've done, but I feel like it's about time I showed my mechanic side. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you feel like you know someone who needs to know how to change their tire, please feel free to share this video. Well, that's all for today's episode, episode, video. That's all for today's video. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.